little word from Mo. Obviously, hopefully he's going to be in a similar position to you, looking to stretch away. What's that last 10k like when you're at uh, the front end of London? If you get it right, <laughs> it's, it's great because you've got because it's London, you've got all of those crowds cheering you on, and you do uh, sort of notice it. It is quite. Um, uh, inspiring and and it takes away some of that tiredness uh, and I, I hope Mo does just kind of use the pacemakers stays controlled doesn't do anything in the first half of the race to use up energy so when he gets to 20 miles he's able to make a challenge and I think with his 10k speed really that last 10k he should be better than anybody else I, th I think Mo if he doesn't win it he's still going to run very fast um, he was almost certainly, sorry Steve Jones, but he's going to take your British record away. <laughs> um, um, but Steve Jones won't mind that because it's been such a long time uh, and someone needed to do it. Uh, and then I think if he doesn't win London, he will go on in the next year or two to run fantastic times. Yeah, I mean, Nike were putting out this um, this sub two shoe. Um, it's it's a long long way off, but who knows? You know, it's not going to happen in this first marathon. But he may be the person who takes it towards that. And then picks two years time. Well, I think he's doing the right thing. I think um, doing his first marathon now um, gives him that experience to make any changes. So if if he does go for the marathon at the the um, Rio Olympics, then uh, th then he's got all of those things under his belt, and he's not doing the, the marathon from uh, a novice point of view.